Hello and welcome to me and my golf wheel your coaches Piers and Andy and it's time for My Swing Analysis. Andy, what are we doing today? Well, it's Ryder Cup week, Piers, and oh. today we are going to be sharing with you a drill that helps a Nick Faldo win six majors. It also helped him in the wind, which is very appropriate Come on, today, let's see you hit one then. It also helped Europe win a lot of Ryder Cups, by the way. Which is obviously going to happen again. Of course. Into the wind, look at that one, perfect. Under let's take charge of your game. For your chance to win a swing analysis from myself and Andy, plus a 12-month subscription to both meandmygolf.com and 18 Birdies, this is what you need to do. For your chance to win a swing analysis, simply click on the link in the description below where you can enter your details for a chance to win. So remember guys, you have to be in it to win it, so make sure you enter the competition and it could be you. Now, let's take a look at this week's lucky winner. Hey guys, my name is Robert Chesser, I'm from East Tennessee, and you're watching my swing analysis by Piers and Andy. Let them help you take charge of your swing. This is me and my golf TV. Thank you so much for that intro, Robert. And as you can see, before we get into your analysis, there's no golf bags in the video. Apologies for the wind noise in advance because it's exceptionally windy. Golf bags were flying everywhere, so we've had to take them out. We're at the tail end of some hurricane of some sort. Maybe it's the American Ryder Cup team coming over for the Ryder Cup Blowing this a lot of week. hot air. <laughs> Blowing a lot, I well, like it. So look, yeah, we're so excited for this week. Obviously, the Ryder Cup's going on, but the main event is actually the content on our channel, isn't it? Yeah, we've got a match that's we've got a match. on Monday, actually, so make sure you check that out. Part one is on our channel. We've got part two and three on Seb uh, on golf and Chris Ryans, where we take them on in a match. So you make sure you check that out and see your wins. At Paris National as well, yes. so actually on the golf course that the guys will be playing this week. Yes, make sure they check that out. Now, look, Robert, excuse me, I've just got something in my eye there. Now, Robert is, uh, let's give you some history on Robert. He's shooting in the mid to low 90s but quickly improving he's taken up golf again this year after having a little bit of a break he's from east tennessee he practices and plays three to five times a week so as Lucky soon boy. as we yes, absolutely so as soon as we see and hear someone saying that to us we know for a fact that we can give them some good drills that can really help them progress and struggling with a poor ball striking but also leaking out to the right slicing out to the right he's a right-handed golfer so let's have a look at his golf swing first thing we notice from down the line posture and he's very much on his toes okay so we'll come back to that a little bit later I'm sure with your fixes but then as we go back into the backswing it looks really nice halfway back it looks really good as we start to get to the top though it looks like it just wants to keep going so the elbows start to splay we can see that the club is overswung from here we'll look at that properly from the front on view but then as soon as we have that sort of movement at the top of the golf swing it's very easy then to steepen the downswing even when you're on your toes as well it can help this steep in the downswing coming over the top and this is obviously going to cause these fades out to the right especially when we get the lead arm sort of getting that chicken wing effect throughout the through swing we look at the front arm again setup looks quite nice on the front arm grip is, is is good enough for sure we go to the top of the back swing we can see we have that overswing confirmed a little bit of earlier release in the downswing and then that chicken wing through the hitting area so it, it's quite simple andy when we see this from robert that we can see exactly what is causing the slice. We've just got to sort of almost contain things a little bit with the arms, haven't we? Yeah, definitely. And I think you mentioned a few swing faults there, Pierce. There were like four that you mentioned, but we're going to focus on two things. We're going to focus on the length of the swing. It's a yep. little long, so we're going to get it shorter. We're also going to then work on the over the top, and they are combined, really. If we can produce a slightly better backswing, then he's going to be a lot better in the downswing and really keep it as simple as we can. Okay, so let's go posture first of all if we can, if we okay. can just actually show how to get that a bit better. So Robert's posture, we see there's a lot of flex in the legs. He's sort of moving around at the start, which is fine, Good, trying like to get that. his balance. But what happens is a lot of flex in the knees and the weight's being pushed towards the toes. From here, it's not very easy to sort of wind up and use the body in a good way. And it can often tend to lead to too much Steep of an upright swing. golf swing. Yeah. So what we actually want to see you do, Robert, is create a little bit less flex in the legs, a more of a softening of the knees, and a great drill to do for this, a great exercise, is to go heels, toes, heels, and then halfway. So we really want the focus to be, and the balance to be on the arches of the feet, right through the middle of those three stripes there. At the minute you'll feel that the toes are almost gripping the floor, we want to feel that it's an even spread between front and back. That's really going to help create a good base and allow you to use the body better as well. Okay, perfect. So, it's Ryder Cup week. Have we got a drill that can help us? Might be even Ryder Cup themed. Well, let's talk about the arms. Yeah, let's really look yep. at what the arms are doing. We're going to use a drill that Faldo used to use with Ledbetter when he was doing some swing changes with him. Now, we saw the top of the golf swing, the elbow splayed. The club gets a little cross and long at the top of the swing. So, Faldo used to do a preset drill. Mm. He would take his setup, 
he would preset the wrists and the arms. So he'd, from here, set the club, so create this hinge. You can see the right elbow is very sort of bent and in towards the lead elbow here. And then all, we, all he needs to do from here, Pierce, was sort of turn and lift the arm. Now, in this back swing now, you'll see the elbows are close together. It's very hard to swing long. But notice the club. The club now is shorter, but also on a good angle. If I get the elbow splayed, I'll go long and across, and that leads to the steepness on the way down. So go. from here, keeping the elbows together, that really helps the transition, coupled with the weight being in a good place, yeah. helps me get a much better delivery. Well, let's see the backswing, obviously, when you do this drill. So let's get you hitting one. Okay, so all I'm literally gonna do is preset, yeah. elbows in tight, bit of wrist set, turn and then hit. Beautiful shot. And this is one of the really big drills that Faldo did at the beginning of his time with Ledbetter, which obviously helped him win the majors and do so well in Ryder Cup. Speaking of which, question time, Ryder Cup special, obviously. How many Ryder Cup appearances did Nick Faldo have, including his captaincy? So post down below, was it 10, 12 or 14? Don't answer, because you're a Faldo I know, nut. I know. You'll know what it is straight away. So from there then, really, we've got the balance nice. We've done that sort of preset drill there. We then want to see if we can get that same feeling in the backswing there where the elbows are a little closer together. We're a little shorter at the top of the golf swing. And from there, the consistency, Pierce. We talked about the chicken wing in the early release. Yeah. But if we get these, these two things right, those things will naturally get a little yeah. bit better as well. Because look, we know there are golfers out there who can overswing and, and you know sort things out on the way down. But let's just give you the best possible chance, especially with the amount of practice time that you've got now for the next, hopefully, coming years. So set. Turn. I'm going to really create that feeling now when I take it to a sort of full free-flowing golf swing. Let's see if I can keep it short and keep those elbows close together. Mm, very nice. Does that mean I'm going to win more majors now, Pierce? Yeah, of course. Do you say more? More, <laughs> How many you more majors, that's it. <laughs> okay, Maybe guys. In my dreams, that was. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely in a different mode there. Thinks he's Nick Faldo all of a sudden. So, look, guys and girls, we really hope you enjoy that. If you did, it is exceptional when you're so sorry about it. Uh, we can't do anything about that, obviously. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe and make sure you post down the answer to the Faldo question, any questions that you have about your game. Now, speaking of your game, if you really want to improve it, we've just shown you there how we can use. Um, our shot fixer at mirmygolf.com to fix a couple of the swing faults. So if you're struggling with a slice, why don't you go to mirmygolf.com now and check out the shot fixer and you'll be able to figure out exactly what is causing your slice and how to fix it with the hundreds of drills that we've got available to you. So if you want to access the shot fixer and become a member of our VIP community, all you need to do is click the link in the corner there and you can sign up for free guys. Give it a go and we'd love to see you over there.